Hey guys, I'm HP. This is Dr. Pink, and today I'm going to talk about one of my very, very, very favorite tunes out of the 70s, I think. Play the funky music, White Boy. <laughs> But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and also join the HP Crazy Gator Academy, my own social media thing, which I'm doing. And also, there you can get, get the backing tracks and the tabs for this tutorial here. So, For those who don't know the song, I'm gonna quickly play first parts of it. Then comes the second part, I'm going to show you that one, and then now I'm going to explain the second part. That comes the word from. gonna talk about this solo yeah so one after each other I'm gonna check out all parts which are played um, or more or less I checked several versions I checked the original version from the same as I checked the live version and um, it's more or less the same on exactly so that means you also don't have to be so exact I gotta well the main thing that stays that oops that was the wrong song sound here that is pretty uh, the signature thing of the song let's start all right guys um, as I said the signature part is this intro and I'm pretty sure it's played with finger picking because uh, it has kind of a nasty sound and if you play with with a pick it doesn't get this nastiness so i mean you can play with the pick as you like but if you play with finger it's here open e string then here seven seven five seven and then five seven hammer on and then uh, uh, here with the thumb and then index and then again it's with a little hook that makes a little bit the nasty sound but as i said you can also play with your pick tempo is 109 bpm so it's pretty fast so it's but slow it's like Yeah, you can also make a hammer on here. So let's do the intro now. Uh, let me go for the beginning of the track. And this guitar keeps on going through the entire track. So that's pretty much the intro that goes on and goes on and goes on and goes on till uh, kind of it starts to get in the rough, uh, you know, then suddenly you just play, just play one, two, three, four, one, just like this, four bars, and then it goes to G. Then you make it the same thing here. Third fret, five, three, five. Well, it's literally the same thing as before. You just now, you, instead of an open string, you take the the um, bass here, the third fret, and then the same thing. Yeah, and for five bars, and then you move the whole thing up to B flat. For one bar, same thing. 
then comes in. This here is played unisono with the bass, with the, with the lyrics and everything here. Nine, seven, well this, everybody's playing that one. It's not necessarily this guitar, the first guitar, but we also play it. Nine, seven, nine. So, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, twice nine, two, five, four, and then here, five, five. I'm going to play the whole part. I skip the intro. I just go to the, to the refrain. Let me just put the track to that spot. <laughs> So here it's now comes the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, now it goes very fresh. starts from the beginning. So that's the first guitar. I mean it can vary from version to version but more or less that's the way the song is played. The the real the, but the main thing is really that's a signature thing the intro that has to be really precise. That has to be the way it is. Yo, so let's go to rhythm guitar 2. That's a little more difficult. So this play with a clean guitar, a little well, kind of a fender with a little bit of distortion, and we're playing an E9. Here in the seven, sixth fret, bar here, seven, seven. Then you, I play with finger picking, but you can play with the pick as well. I play the entire rhythm guitar here with finger picking some, uh, feels more convenient for me, but it's not uh, a way to do it. So the, the rim guitar too is like <laughs> So you slide in, go back, so that's the first phrase. Or you make also like this. And then, borrow here in the nine, eight, and then back. And then once again here. That's the, it's a two bar phrase, more or less. Uh, it's not totally clear when you listen to the original when, what is, because there's a lot of other instruments there as well. But I think that's, well, that's the way you compose a song. You make two bar patterns, you know, so it's pretty sure that it's at this here. Well, it sounds the way it should. <laughs> or you can make... Oops. Yeah. So, that's the main rhythm guitar of the chorus. Then when it goes to the rough friend as is kind of a bridge or interlude, then you play the, the same chord but with the bass here. Here, seven, six, seven, 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 so E9. And you play off bit so one and two and three and four and one and two and three for four bars. Yeah, let's first play the first part of this hit in action, and then I'm gonna I skip to the um, to the um, bridge. Now uh, comes the scream. Ah, I cannot do it. And 
if you really want to it's really fast if you want to if you really want to be relaxed and groovy and a little bit laid back just stay relaxed in your arm this is the speed you have to have you know that's how you play that one yo and that's played i don't know how many bars in my backing track i think i made 16 bars now let's go to the interlude and then after the interlude we go to the same to d9 the d9 as the e9 we just move up three three frets and then we make so That's the thing which is played, more or less. It's also not totally clear because a lot of other instruments going on, but that's in this, those parts which were possible to hear. That was what I heard out. And that's the way it would be done, you know. Five bars. Then it goes to the center B9, you just move the whole thing down in the first fret, so you don't have to press the index finger anymore. And then this unisono part as well. And then the whole thing starts again. So let's do the interlude. Two, three, four. Refrain. Yeah, so that was now the rhythm guitar the two rhythm guitars. If you're only one guitar, um, you can also do that, but you don't have the same power in your sound, of course. Then you play the intro as rhythm guitar one and then switch to rhythm guitar two, because the rhythm guitar one is heard prominent, prominently in the intro, and then not so much anymore, but you will see it doesn't have the same punch. Now let's check out the solo. The solo, I really love that solo, it's a simple solo. Let's go a little bit further here. Um, here. So, the solo, is a, since we are in E minor, is of course in E minor, and it has a really nasty sound. I think it's a it's a fuzz uh, distortion, which I well I don't have one now, but I, I'm <laughs> not too lazy to get one. But I could do one now and then. It starts with this bending here, and then in the bending here in the fifteenth. Then goes down. And then and then I think I'm gonna show you something like this. It's a typical 8-bar solo and the entry point is the most important thing and that you just jump in here in the 15th fret and then more or less from then on you're more or less free. Well, the intro, that has to be because it's really a signature as well. Yeah, and that's the whole thing.
Yeah, guys, that was Play the Funky Music White Boy. Play the Funky Music White Boy by Wild Cherry. <laughs> we all know what that means. <laughs> yeah, it's really a nasty song and it's cool it's from the 70s. As I said, I watched several versions, uh, also live versions, and uh, to check out if it uh, or the difference in that. And there are some which are not showed here. So if somebody says it's totally wrong, it's just the way I transcribed it. Maybe you find some dice, but I really picked out the signature things out of it. So that's it. If you want to download the tabs and the backing track, <coughs> they're available in the HB Crazy Guitar Academy. Join there also to discuss. If you have questions, you can ask questions there about the tutorial and I answer there in detail. Just building up a guitar community. They're a small one till now. But the downloads, you need to make the premium membership upgrade. And I don't do any social media feeds anymore. Good. I'm going to play a little bit more for you, a solo of my style at the end too. And we are saying goodbye. <laughs>